guys welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to show you how can we install uh, twrp in redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well and how can we flash a custom rom this video is only for those people who still doesn't know how to install twrp and how to uh, flash a custom rom in redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well and any kind of mi yeah, redmi and poco devices you guys can follow this process and first of all what is the requirement and i will talk about everything uh every single details i'll talk about first of all let me show you uh, uh, in my redmi 7 you guys can see this is redmi 7 about section you guys can see i am using redmi 7 and mui version 11.0.2 which is global version and just double tap uh, not only double tap uh, tap here six or seven time and you will be a developer just enable the developer option and go to additional settings and then go to developer option and click here am i unlock status you guys can see device bootloader is unlocked and if your device bootloader is not unlocked then you guys can have a look in the description uh, so that you guys can get a video i already made that video how can we unlock bootloader so you guys can follow that process and after that come here and watch that video so device bootloader is unlocked and now we will see how can we install twrp in redmi 7 so i already made a video uh, without pc we can install twrp and if you don't have any pc then you guys can uh, follow that video and if you have a pc or laptop then you guys can follow this process so just open your pc now so you guys can see here now we are on pc screen so you guys can see twrp files i already made a zip file all the necessary files are included in that zip file so download that zip file from the given link in description and then just open twrp files and you guys will get uh two three files one is twrp which is very latest official twrp 3.5.2 and here is the minimal adb and fast boot and here is the adb setup and first of all just extract adb setup and extract minimal adb and fast boot and let me show you i already uh, unzip all those and you guys can see here after extracting adb setup you guys will get that file and then just right click on that file and then run as administrator and then you guys need to install that uh, adb installer just uh, type y and then press enter again type y and press enter so installing adb and fastboot and again type y and then press enter and your driver will be updated so driver already updated and here we go and then just extract the minimal adb and fastboot and i already extracted it so you guys can see here minimal adb and fastboot so after that you guys will get that file here and this is the minimal adb and fastboot file and you guys can delete the, that one if you get it so just right click here run as administrator and then just install it just normal uh, like a normal file so we are done with uh, the drivers so after installing all the drivers just reboot your pc so you are done so after installing all those things you are good to go now just go to your c drive and you will get one folder name adb just open that folder and just copy your twrp and paste it here and if you don't want to paste it here you guys can do it manually from uh, that folder uh, you guys can just do it here if you want to do you guys can do it here but it is recommended to do it here just copy and paste your twrp here so you are good to go now connect your device right now uh, with fastboot just use a data cable so let me show you so that now go to fastboot mode on your device uh, how to go on fastboot just press and hold your power button and click on reboot and then press and hold your volume down button just press and hold and your device will go on fast boot 
so you guys can see the device is already now on fast boot so connect your device with your data cable with pc so i am connecting my device with pc and this is already connected so you guys can see here now we are going to flash the twrp so first of all just click on the path path section you guys can see here the path section just click on there and type cmd that means command window we need uh, just enter and you guys can see we have the command window here and just type here just type here first boot devices to make sure our device is connected or not first boot devices first boot devices just type and press enter and you guys can see our device is connected successfully on first boot mode you guys can see and now we are going to flash dwrp in our device so now uh, type command first boot flash recovery and then space and then just your recovery file uh, just uh, drag your recovery to that uh, here so you guys can see first boot flash recovery and then uh, drag your recovery file to uh, in front of the recovery so now just press enter and your twrp uh, will be installed in your device and you guys can see uh, this is okay and you guys can see here okay writing recovery and okay and finish total time so we are done now just open your data cable now just press and hold power button and volume up button just press and hold and your device will boot into recovery now you can release the power button but don't release the volume up button so you guys can see TWRP installed in our redmi 7 so we are done and it's asking for a screen password so i recommend you guys to uh, when you uh, flash a twrp just uh, don't uh, put your screen lock just before doing that process just uh, just turn off your screen lock and then do the process and first of all just click on cancel and you must uh, have sd card and if you have sd card then this is really cool and we need to flash to flash magics if you don't flash magics then your twrp uh, will be removed automatically after your uh, first boot after your reboot so i recommend you to uh, install magics so that your twrp uh, can be used for permanently so that you guys can use permanently so now uh, just do one thing and you guys can follow this process to install uh, any recovery like orange box or any uh, just download the orange box recovery and follow the same process you guys can do that and if you install the orange box recovery then you don't need to face any problem like this like decryption issue because this is uh, fb support twrp this is not fde but orange box is fde plus fde uh, orange box supports both the file system so that's why uh, there is no issues so if you want to uh, keep your twrp permanent then just select your storage here and then flash magics manager so that your twrp can be permanent so just find out the magics manager and select the magics and just swipe to flash and you guys can see magics is flashing and after that we will see how can we install our first custom rom in our redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well so you guys can see twrp already flashed and if you want to install custom recovery 
then uh, custom uh, ROM on your device then uh, use SD card or you guys can use OTG and uh, like magics everything you need to keep all the files on your SD card or your OTG like uh, pen drive whatever you have you guys can uh, store the, uh, the necessary files there so now click reboot system and your device will boot let me show you so you guys can see device uh, finally booted and our TWRP already installed in our device now we will see how can we install a custom ROM in our Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 devices so let, let's get started so you guys can see I'm back on recovery again and you guys can see it's asking password uh, because it wants to decrypt data and this recovery doesn't support FDE and MIUI is FDE ROM so that's why uh, this password will not work in that recovery because this recovery doesn't support uh, FDE uh, this recovery support FDE ROM uh, only so uh, just click on cancel and we are going to install our first custom ROM so that's why first of all if you want to uh, get access to your uh, internal storage then you have to uh, format your data you guys can see here internal storage is zero megabyte so if you want to access in your internal storage then you have to format your data then you will get access to your internal storage because we have FDE ROM installed in our device that's why we need to format that data so remember one thing before we install any custom ROM and keep a backup of your internal storage because your internal storage will be removed so first of all for installing any custom ROM just go to wipe section and go to advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache system vendor and data just select all the partition except internal storage USB OTG and micro SD card if you have then just swipe to wipe and you guys can see if you face problem like this then just go to wipe again and click on format data and type yes and click on tick and you guys can see your internal storage uh, already removed actually deleted so now go to wipe action and then go to advanced web and now select that will be cache system vendor and data then swipe to wipe and everything gone just now you can install any custom room and your device is ready to install any custom room so just go to install section before you go to install section I suggest you just go to reboot and then click on recovery and then swipe to reboot and you guys can see device booted into recovery again and if you don't want that message then just click on that and now this device is totally ready to install any custom ROM so just go to install option and select your external SD card where you have stored your uh, ROM files so I have mine here so I'm going to select that uh, ROM I'm going to install this ROM and this is uh, Xdroid ROM now so I have to flash the ROM and let it be flashed it will take some time so you guys can see ROM successfully flashed and now you guys can click reboot system to boot your device into ROM but one thing remember if you are doing this for the first time in your life then get back and you need to flash one file which is called vvmeta and here is the file let me show you this is the vvmeta file we, I have two files here but you guys uh, need one file uh, if you want to flash the above one you guys can flash and if you want to flash the second one you guys can flash uh, no problem so I am flashing the first one and you guys will get all the files in description so after flashing this you are ready to reboot system and your device will boot into uh, a ROM so no problem and if you want to root then you guys can flash magics right now and if you don't want to root then no problem you guys can reboot system and remember one thing uh, the vvmeta file you don't need to flash that file again and again one time flash is enough so after next time if you want to change your custom rom then you guys can uh, change your custom rom no issues and you don't need to flash the vvmeta file again so this one time is good enough 
so now click reboot system and your device will boot so you guys can see device is booting and this is the uh, rom logo this is the extroid rom logo and device is booting and after booting i will show you the room actually successfully booted or not so you guys can see device finally booted now set up your device and then you guys uh, can use the custom room uh, so this is the way you guys can flash any custom room in your redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well and i want to request you guys if you like my work then please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss the further update so thank you for watching